Peyton Manning finally has a statue outside of Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. The hometown hero of Indianapolis that made our team relevant. I cannot think of anybody more deserving than Peyton Manning. Hey yo, what's up, J Red Nation? And today, finally back. It's it's been too long. It, it's been far too long since I made my last video. Almost two months since I came out with my last video, and I just it's just been a crazy past two months. I just is I've been wanting to make a video. It's just I I just really wanted to you know like not upload as much. I just want to, you know, like, lay back and, um, actually just, you know, I take a little break. And I felt like I deserved it because, um, I didn't feel like I liked making YouTube videos for a short period of time. It felt, it felt forced. Some of the videos I made were forced. They were not good, true content like I sometimes have done in the past where I've done good videos. It's just, I really wanted to get away from YouTube. I wanted to, you know, like, just completely stay away from even making a video at all. And, you know, I just wait until the time was right. And I figured today, Sunday, and considering NASCAR is on, I'm wearing my Chase Elliott t-shirt, Colts football is on, tied up 3-3 right now against the San Francisco 49ers. Right now, 49ers are on offense, so I figured I might as well just take a break and make a video. So, enough of me rambling. Let's just get on with today's video, and it's going to be relevant to the Colts. I'll be talking about Peyton Manning. So, Peyton Manning finally has a statue in Indianapolis. I have not gotten the chance to go up to Lucas Oil Stadium. I think I'm going to be going in November or possibly in the near future. And... I'm excited to see what that statue looks like in person because I saw videos of, on Instagram. I've seen pictures of that statue, and it's just absolutely beautiful. I I could not think of any more of one person deserving that statue outside of Lucas Oil Stadium than Peyton Manning because, honestly, Peyton Manning has done so much for the state of Indiana, for the hometown city of Indianapolis, bringing the Colts back to being relevant. And... It's just amazing that Peyton Manning gets to be recognized for everything that he has done. In my opinion, he is one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, beside Tom Brady. Tom Brady is also one of the GOATs. I get, I have props respect to him, and I think he's going to get a statue as well. But that's a whole other story when that time comes. This is all about Peyton Manning. Now, Peyton Manning, if you guys didn't know, he is also one of my favorite players of all time. I grew up watching him. As a little kid, I remember specifically every Sunday, I would want a Peyton Manning jersey so I can wear it on game day every Sunday. It was just, those are some of the best moments I've had as a little kid waiting to watch a Colts game because Peyton Manning was just phenomenal. I, just the way he, just the way he played the game was amazing. And especially having um, players like Reggie Wayne, Marvin Harrison, Dallas Clark, and Jeff Saturday Giving him the football as being the center, that that team was unstoppable. I, it was just insane. Taking a bunch of um, players that were not known, like um, I knew Marvin Harrison was already one of um, the Colts' great, greatest wide receivers. Reggie Wayne had to develop a little bit, but he was phenomenal in like th in like two years later at, after his rookie season. And then Dallas Clark, um, he was a an amazing, an amazing tight end for us. And Jeff Saturday is one of the best centers, in my opinion. Just, I'll, I'll never forget that Colts team for, like, years to come. That team was amazing. And I, my favorite moment of Peyton Manning, honestly, was watching him win sup the Super Bowl in 2006 against the Chicago Bears. It was an amazing game. And I remember just sitting down in my – in the living room with my mom and dad and my two sisters just watching Peyton Manning just light it up out there. It was it was truly phenomenal. And especially my favorite head coach of all time as well, Tony Dungy. He is also a GOAT. Just just seeing all of them, it was it was amazing. And I couldn't think of anybody more deserving. Now we just need to get Marvin Harrison with a statue. <laughs> 
I mean, I would love to see that Peyton Manning and Marvin Harrison outside Lucas Oil Stadium. That'd be, that'd be amazing. I would, I would have a crap ton of pictures on my phone, and Instagram. Just, it's just amazing. And um, more about Peyton Manning. If you guys didn't know, he left the Colts after uh, he he was injured for an entire season. He went to the Denver Broncos. I was kind of upset about that, but I still became a Peyton Manning supporter because he is my favorite player. He always will be, in my opinion. All, always will be my favorite player. Even if he went to the Denver Broncos. I never became a Denver Broncos fan because I'm a Colts fan at heart. I love Andrew. what Andrew Luck is doing with the Colts right now. I wish he could come back. But um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be like maybe another two weeks, maybe another three weeks until Andrew Luck comes back because I know he's off of the injury list. But that's another video. This is all about Peyton Manning. Um... I just I, I wish he could have gotten more than two Super Bowls, but that's just how that's just how it is sometimes. Because you have guys like Ben Roethlisberger who's been in the Super Bowl. You got Tom Brady who's, who's won a lot of Super Bowls. Uh, you got uh, teams like um, the Seahawks who are who are pretty good. The Green Bay Packers. Just Peyton Manning. Um, even though he he did um, get to like. Uh, I think four Super Bowls. I have one in 2006, one in 2011, one in 2014, and one in 2016. I, I want to say, yeah, it, I remember it was the Carolina. It was Carolina and Denver that one year. I think it was that was either 2000. If, I'm pretty sure it was 2014, and they lost to the Seahawks. But I do know they beat the they beat um, um, Carolina Panthers another year. I, I it's. Year, years are hard to remember, but Peyton Manning, um, I remember in this second Super not second Super Bowl, third Super Bowl, I know he was not that great, but I wish he could have won more than two Super Bowls. Peyton Manning really deserves more than two Super Bowls, in my opinion, because of how good he was. Um, I just wish he could have had more talent around him, even though he had a crap ton of talent around him. Just a little bit more, and it, Peyton Manning would be probably the number one quarterback in NFL history. I say he's number two, but in my heart, he's number one because he's my favorite player. So anyways, guys, that's all I have for today. I know it's um, a little bit of a short little video. I just wanted to get my thoughts and feelings on Peyton Manning having his own statue. I think it's amazing. Um, and just um, reminiscing on old memories that I, that I had watching him grow when I was just like a little kid. Man, I miss game days on Sundays. I would... I remember just having my own Peyton Manning jersey in my closet, just waiting for Sunday to come. It, it was, it's something I'll never forget. So, anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I know it's not like the most um, hyped up video that you guys were probably anticipating, but more videos are going to be coming in the future. I got a lot of video ideas ready to come out. I am going to be talking about NBA basketball. I've been waiting for that. It's going to be coming out in about the next month or so because the NBA season starts in about it starts starts next week I think or two weeks from now I'm not so sure preseason's still going on I will begin some NBA content out I haven't had a chance to talk about the NBA offseason which I'm pretty upset about we we'll be talking about some acquisitions that happened and um maybe talk about Carmelo because that was pretty surprising I would love to talk about him one day and even Dwayne Wade going to the Cavs uh, a lot of videos coming up in the future, so just stay tuned to the channel. And thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for sticking around if you guys did. Um, you guys are amazing, and I can't wait to finish out the rest of this year on a positive note and move forward into 2018 in about three months. So anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an awesome day. I'm going to watch me some Colts football and some good old NASCAR racing. So I'll see you all later. Thank you for watching.